Well, I tell you, give me five yeah, minutes here. Minutes okay, set, give so me five minutes, minutes here, and then, like and then uh, I'll get through the questions as quickly as possible. Okay. All right. Okay. I, now, is that the way you sit? Up forward? Yeah. I mean, Sometimes I'm oh, over it. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We have to serious up here. Okay. We're rolling and we have speed. Oliver, I must tell you that I've seen a lot of movies this year and in previous years as well. I don't know when I have been so totally immersed in a film as I was this picture. And it deserves every award that anybody can rustle up to give it, believe me. Um, you already have four Golden Globe nominations. And um, Oscar nominations, I'm sure, I'm, I'm taking bets, I'm sure are forthcoming. Should you personally win an award for directing, writing, or both, what, what will you want to say to people about this picture? <laughs> Oh, I, I think what I think the film should speak for itself. I mean, that's the best thing I could say for it. I mean, I dedicated it to the Vietnam vets. Uh, I hope they liked it, and uh, I hope people go to, to 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 see what the war was really like. That's you know that's the statement. And then once you see it, you can you have to think about it for yourself and see what think about what you think about war. Think about what it really is, as opposed to the fantasy comic book stuff of Top Gun, and uh, it'll make you think twice about what we're doing probably in Central America. That is a real threat as you see it then. Oh yeah. Of I becoming it, another Vietnam. I think it's a you see, I think it's a repetition of the same attitude, the same foreign policy attitude that's leading us into the same problem. We're uh, you know, it's a Cold War context, that Cold War phenomena. We're fighting communism. We sold us that idea in, in Asia and now we're selling it to uh, the public in S Central America. And these are, I don't think these are the facts. In this movie, Charlie Sheen plays Chris, who is really you. More or less. More or less. Semi-autobiographical. Okay. Now, in the movie, the character takes shots at Vietnamese civilians and then turns the gun on one of his own men. Did that actually happen to you? Not, to, uh, well, we did turn our weapons on some Vietnamese, yes. And uh, I saw quite a bit, and actually one time I almost killed somebody. Like that scene when he shoots the, the, the rounds at the uh, retard boy's feet. That happened to me. And uh, there was a character like the Kevin Dillon character who, who did murder an old lady. Uh, it, it, at random, I'm not saying that we did this on a concentrated basis. At random, when the frustration hit us, sometimes we turned it on the Asians. There was a heavy element of racism in, in our attitude, too. A lot of guys didn't like gooks, period that all of them were the same and there were the good, only good gook was a dead gook. On the other hand, you had the other, another part of the platoons had no beef with the gooks. They, uh, so that was the kind of tension that I wanted to show in the platoon. I never did that, what I, that thing to a sergeant. But there, I've heard of, of many incidents when fraggings did occur. Also, you have to keep in mind that about 20% of the casualties in Vietnam were from friendly fire. And I bet you quite a bit of that was was because of a civil a civil type war that was going on in, inside our own forces. It took you 10 years to get this film made. And obviously it was very important to you, Oliver. So what was it that propelled you on and made you keep trying to get the film made? Uh, I, I think it, I was a little frustrated. I mean, I think uh, was, the truth was being buried, you know? It's like knowing something like being an investigative reporter, having found something, but you can't get it out. I'd seen this thing and nobody was dealing with it. It was being swept under the rug. That bothered me a lot. And I was seeing fantasy violence and I was seeing, uh, you know, America was falling for sort of a, an attitude about war that was wholly wrong. I think that kept me going, the desire to, 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 to see truth come out. But to be honest, I kind of gave up too, you know, because it didn't look like the picture was going to get made. And then uh, it, it, it came around again when English people came in and they, it was all European money went into the picture and they made the film. So it really wasn't done with American money. Do you have any idea of our Defense Department, their reaction to they it? They hated it. Yeah, they said the script was wholly unrealistic. 
It's a, this depiction of the drug usage was there was no drugs, there was no black white problems, there was none of this and that. They uh, they hated that script, so we got uh, we we used the Philippine military. They helped us out, and we did the film ourselves. But every even a civilian like myself knows that the drug problem was there. How well, can the they defense deny department it? Uh, denies it? That's what they wrote me in the letter. I mean, I mean, we all know the Defense Department is living on the moon anyway. I mean, the, the, when, were they, when have they ever been close to the truth? Well, again, Oliver, it's a just absolutely fabulous film. And uh, I hope we see you at the Golden Globes and at the Academy Awards. Well, thank you. And it's been wonderful talking with you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bobby. Good stuff. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. You Dallas conservatives are going to go crazy when they hear this defense. Oh, <laughs> they've gone crazy before. I'll, I'll rotate your chair. So okay. You just, if you can just step out so that your wire stays. And if you will cut me as widely as you can without giving away your background. I, I mean, I, I, I know your problem, but just do the best you can. Is it still rolling? Okay. Okay, we're doing sound. Okay. If you should win an award, what do you hope you'll say? Your character, played by Charlie Sheen, in the movie we see that he takes shots at Vietnamese civilians and in actual fact turns the gun on one of his own men. Now, did that really happen to you? It took you 10 years to get this movie made. It took you 10 years to get your script made into a movie. Obviously, it was important to you. Why was it so important to you? What does the Defense Department say about this movie? And now just reactions. Okay, thank you.